There once was a girl named Hadiohan, and she lived in a rural city in the corner of Central Asia, home to some of the most ancient civilizations on earth. This lesser known region of the world is made up of five even less known countries, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan. Though these countries in their current independent forms are only about 30 years old, some of the cities in this region are over 2,000 years old, and I believe there's a great deal we can learn from them. Though I have gone by my first name, Kat, for many years now, there was a time when I was called Hadiohan, and I lived in what felt like a different world to my current Scottish home. I have visited all five of the countries of Central Asia and have lived in three of them, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan. The essence of these wonderful cultures has become part of who I am, so today I will be sharing a snapshot of the values intrinsic to this captivating corner of the world. Firstly, my rural life in Central Asia taught me the value of nature and getting out into the fresh air as much as possible. My mother was recently reminiscing about chilly autumn days when she would bundle up warm, walk to the marketplace and buy some fresh hot bread and a plate of osh to eat in the open air. Summers were spent picnicking by the river and when it got really warm, I would sometimes sleep outside under the night sky. Scotland is too cold for that, but during the day I still try to spend as much of my time outside as I can. My life in rural Central Asia also taught me a lot about simple living. Though simple, slow living has become more popular in the West in recent years, it's important to bear in mind that this is how most people in the world live, though out of necessity rather than choice. While simple living can be a beautiful lifestyle to adopt, it is a privilege to choose to do so. So, while I hope that what I share about simple living brings you inspiration, please remember that a simple life does not necessarily mean an easy one. Here in the West, we are used to fast fashion. All we have to do is click a button and a ready-made outfit will arrive at our door the next day. It's easy to forget the process and the people behind the scenes. In rural Central Asia, it was very different.
If I wanted a new dress, I would walk to the bazaar, choose the material I wanted, then bring the material to a seamstress who would take my measurements and help me choose a cut and design. After a couple of weeks, my dress would be ready to pick up. The dress you see me wearing in this video was made in this very way. Slow cooking is another big part of Central Asian culture because it is less about the food itself and more about the company and the experience. Everything from the pastry to the jam is made from scratch and preparing for the arrival of guests can be a whole day affair. One delicacy, sumalak, can take up to 10 days to prepare and requires continuous stirring for about 14 hours. I've noticed that people in the West are sometimes perturbed by how much time I spend cooking and cleaning before having friends round for a meal. But the truth is that this is my way of honouring my guests. I know how it feels to be a foreigner and an outsider, so it's important to me that my home feels like a sanctuary for anyone who crosses the threshold. All in all, my precious years spent in Central Asia have taught me that true happiness is not found in status or accumulating wealth. Rather, it is found in a quiet prayer, the joy of a new baby, a meal shared with close friends, and the whisper of wind in the trees. Through dwelling in nature, simple living, and valuing people, I'm learning to cultivate a true sense of home.